fighting ozone. Which material do you recommend for exposure? One of the first rubber design considerations that we take into account is exposure to ozone. Over time, for example, will weathering cause the part to crack or dry rot? How can we prevent this? When outdoor environments are capable of causing these stresses to key parts like seals or O-rings, choosing the proper material is critical to the success of an application. So let's talk about how ozone attack occurs. Different rubber polymers have greater or less resistance to ozone. The less saturated rubber polymer, for example, will experience greater ozone effects. The amount of double and triple chemical bonds in the polymer structure becomes susceptible to the free radicals created by ozone and end up breaking the bonds. Seals that are used in oil or fuel-related applications need to have some resistance to ozone to ultimately prevent deterioration in field surface use. For example, Nitrile is widely used for oil, gas, and fuel applications, but there's a problem. Signs of ozone deterioration don't appear until after 6 to 12 months of exposure. Over time, the nitrile will become brittle and may eventually cause failures in the application. We often see this in HVAC equipment. After years of operation, the edges, under tension, cause the seal to break around the edges. So. Some of the best materials for these applications are HNBR. HNBR is the product of the hydrogenation of nitrile rubber, which adds varying degrees of saturation in addition to enhanced physical strength, chemical resistant properties, and great ozone resistance. HNBR is commonly used for fuel and oil seals, which are exposed to weather and extreme environments. And neoprene. Neoprene is one of the earliest synthetic materials to be developed as an oil resistant substitute for natural rubber. Because of its outstanding physical toughness, it's commonly used for parts in oil and transportation fields and has some resistance to petroleum oils, sunlight, and oxygen aging. And finally, there's EPDM. Ethylene propylene's key uses are for outdoor weather resistance, automotive brake systems, and water applications. This compound is gaining wide industry acceptance for its chemical resistant characteristics and is known for excellent resistance to ozone. So, design phases should always consider whether the rubber part will be exposed to ozone over long periods of time, even in storage, to prolong the life of seals. Want to learn more about Apple Rubber's standard and non-standard polymers? Visit applerubber.com.